began his quest for ministry in, his, in the early 20, 2000s. More than 10 years ago, he was ordained as a youth pastor and has been on fire for Christ ever since. He has a heart for young people to help them understand their spiritual identity in Christ while living in a society that often goes against that. He recently moved to Chicago with his wife, Dominique, and they are expecting their first child in a few months. Together, they work to turn the youth into followers of Christ and turn this generation towards God with no regrets. Help, please help me welcome Pastor Thorpe for his second round here at Calvary Academy. Hey, hey, good morning. Good morning. I said good morning. That's a lot better. It is so good to be back at Calvary. Yes. <laughs> I just want to thank you guys for inviting me back here again. Normally, if you get invited the second time, that means you did a pretty good job the last time. So I'm so honored and deeply pleased to be before you all yet again. And um, I'm not going to be before you long. I know preachers talk a lot and they're very long winded, but I'm not. But my wife doesn't think so. She think I'm long winded, but I'm about to prove her wrong. I can do this in about less than 15 minutes. Time me. <laughs> All right. The last time, well, before I, before I get started, can we give Jesus a hand clap right now? I, I think he, he deserves a little more than that. All right. All right. Well, it's always good to, to I, I just find it just awesome to, to be at a school that, that, that is representing God, representing the kingdom, representing Jesus. And I think it's just, it's just amazing to see young people like you uh, to just to love, to love God and to, and, and to be the light in, in the world. And so you all are, you're very special, very special. Uh, the last time I was before you guys, I talked about identity. I said, your originality is your identity. Who, you, who God says you are, who he created to be, that is who you are. But today I'm going to talk to you guys, guys briefly about honor. Honor. I believe it's very important that the times that we're living in now is that as young people, is that we live a life of honor. And not only that, that we honor one another. First, we honor God. We honor our parents. And then we honor one another. Honor is one of those key ingredients to success and longevity or long life. Who wants to be on earth for a long time? We all do. Here's the secret to it. Well, it's not a secret, really. It's found in Ephesians chapter 6. And it says, children, obey your parents because you belong to the Lord. For this is the right thing to do. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise. If you honor your father and mother, things will go well for you and you will have a long life on the earth. Now, this was a, a, a commandment, the first commandment that was that had a promise attached to it. Now, there, there's like 10 commandments, there's, you know, the, you know, thou shalt not steal and kill. And we, we know these things and, and fair boss, you know, uh, bear false witness. But this particular scripture right here that says to honor your father and mother. For this may be well with you so that your days may be longer. You may live a long life on earth. This is one of the key things as young people that you have got to understand and get this in you. You have to get this in you. You don't really hear this a whole lot. Pretty much, you know, we live in a society, we live in a world where pretty much young people just kind of just do what they want to do. No boundaries, you all gas, no brakes, especially as you get older, you know, you get to a point to where can't nobody tell you anything. You know, you, you, you kind of feeling yourself, you kind of, you talk back because you feel like you know everything. And that's not, that's, that is just not uh, the type of person that you want to be. You want to be a person that, that honors and respects people. First, you want to you want to honor and respect your parents. Honor them. Honor them. When they tell you to do something, just do it. 
Now, the word did not understand it. When it says honor them, it says, it doesn't say honor them only when they do things that you think they're doing is right. If you feel that what they're telling you to do is right. Now, regardless whether you feel like it's right or not, you still honor them, you still respect them. So that your days on earth may be long. You see, honor really looks good on you. Honor is a good thing. When you're being, when you do what you're being told to do, guess what? That's a good, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Respect your teachers. Respect those in authority. Honor them. Anybody like getting into trouble? I ain't see a whole lot of hands go up. Anybody like getting into trouble? Someone like, yeah, if I can get away with it. No, we don't like to get into trouble. And one thing is, we don't want to disappoint the people that we love. We don't want to disappoint our parents. Anybody like punishment? Do they even do that anymore? I don't know. Because when I was coming up, I'm, I'm a lot older than I look, but I'm not going to tell you my age. Yeah, I'm about 20. No, I'm not. I promise you I'm not. I promise you I'm not. But no, but coming up, we, we you know, I don't think, y'all still get whoopings? Okay. <laughs> you get double whoopings. Man, you double trouble, for real. But now, that, that, now, now listen, now, I used to get them when I was coming up, and we know that we get whoopings because if you do something wrong, you know, you, you get a whooping or something we call spank. We got whoopings because, you know, it was a real deal. My parents did not play. Whenever we got disrespectful, whenever we did things that didn't honor them or we, we didn't do what they asked us to do, you got in trouble, and then sometimes you get, you get whoopings. And those whoopings were, it wasn't because my, my parents are mean. It was just to, it was one, because they love me. And they don't want me to do things uh, that, that, that disrespected them. They, didn't want to, they just didn't want us to represent them in such a bad way. And so it was to not only to, to, to show love but to protect us, but it's to really show you like who's really boss. And I wasn't the boss. My parents were. It was very, it was very valuable for me to live a successful life. It's one of the key ingredients. I didn't understand it fully. I didn't understand it all when I was your age. I was just being a kid. But as I got older, I understood the importance of honor. I understood the importance of respect. I understood that. And so I, I love my parents, I reverence my parents, I respect them so much. And even if I don't feel uh, that whatever they do, whatever they say is right, I still respect them, I still love them. My mom can call me up and tell me to do something right now. I'm a grown man and I'll be like, yes ma'am. Because I have respect for them. We live in a time now where we don't really see that often, especially with young people. We talk anyway, whether it's to our parents, whether it's to a teacher, whether it's to an adult. And there are consequences that come with that when you are disrespectful. And so all I'm just saying is, is to really just please live a life of respect and honor. As you're getting ready to conclude this, this school year, work on that. Now this is a, this is a lifelong process, but, but really work on it now. Honor your parents, respect them, do what they tell you to do. They say clean up the room, clean up the room. They tell you, pick your clothes up, pick your clothes up. Wash the dishes, wash the dishes. They said, yes. Come on, parents, where you at? They said, yes. I mean, I, I just, hey, I'm, listen. 
Listen, if you want to make your parents proud and happy, just do what they tell you to do. Even if you feel like, well, I, I, you know, I, and you don't feel right about it, you don't feel like it, just do it. It will save you a lot of whoopings. A lot. And you know, there, there's rewards that come with that as well. Now for my older, younger people over there, that like, you, I know you like shoes. Anybody, any shoe heads over here? Look at them. And see your parents over there working hard to get you these nice shoes and off-whites and J's and Yeezys. Because you try to make sure that your shoe game is right. Now listen, don't take that for granted. Your parents love you and they're gonna do everything they can to make sure that you have everything that you need and, every, and the things that you want and desire. And that should be all the more for you to really respect them even more and honor them even more. Because they really don't have to do it. They can just take you to Walmart and they say, you, you get these shoes. <laughs> See, my mom was like that. She, you know, she, she was, I call her, she was a cheap one. She was like, baby, we're going we gonna to go to JCPenney. And uh, at, this, at this time, it was Kmart. We're going to go to Kmart. I couldn't stand Kmart. Hate it. I'm like, how come we can't just go to Marshall Fields? That's before y'all time. Y'all don't even know what that is. <laughs> But still, I respected them, I still honor them. And so again, honor and respect your parents. Honor your teachers. Your teachers tell you do your homework, do your schoolwork. Hey, be quiet, put your pencils down, just do it. You come in the classroom, have a seat. We shouldn't have to tell you five or six times, sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> We shouldn't have to do that. We shouldn't have to do that. And so if you want to stay out of trouble, stay respectful, stay honorable, because honor does look good on you. It does. Say honor. honor. Say it with some authority. Say honor. honor. Looks good on me. Doing something that you wouldn't normally do for someone or for your teacher, do something special. Do something honorable today. Do it something honorable for your parents when you go home, man. Just clean up the room without them telling you to clean up your room. Yeah. Say, Mama, I'm, I'm gonna wash the dishes. I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the kitchen for you. You work so hard. <laughs> But do something honorable, do something respectful today. Amen? Let's pray. Let's bow our heads and let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord, for this time, Father, of just coming together, Lord, and just lifting up your name, lifting up Jesus, Father. I thank you for these young people, Father. I thank you, Lord, for the fire that they have for Jesus, Lord. I thank you, Lord, they are great representatives, the kingdom of God, Father. They represent their household as well, Father. Let them always remember that, Father, that what they do and what they say does reflect where they come from. So, Father, we just thank you, Lord, for a wonderful day, Father. I thank you, Lord, that you are covering them, you protect them, Father, and that these young people will live a life of honor and respect, Father, so that their days may be long and plenty, Father, here on this earth. And we thank you for all of these things, Father. We thank you for the parents, Father. We thank you for the teachers. We thank you, Father, for the staff, Father, the faculty, Father, our principal, Father. We thank you so much for them, Father, for the, the hours that they put in, Father, to raising and, and lifting up and, and teaching these young kids, Father. So we just thank you, Father, for these things. In Jesus' name, Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen.